Yo, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you guys my exact content strategy, how I leverage content for myself and for my clients based off of psychology to make growth inevitable. Now, I'm not going to blast you with tens of frameworks. I'm going to show you how you can look at content creation from a psychological standpoint to actually understand content creation from A to Z. Okay, this could be a module in my program, but I'm going to give it away to you guys for free, so stay tuned. Okay, so how do we actually leverage content to make converting leads way easier and get coaches pre-sold sales calls? The main thing here is psychology. Everything is rooted in psychology because if you look at it, your viewers are people. So you can attract them from a human standpoint and look at their psychology and their way of thinking. Okay, this is one of the main things that is driving the results that we are getting. And you can absolutely leverage the same thing for yourself and actually get results. Okay, the main person here is Charlie Munger. He was a billionaire, Warren Buffett's partner, known for his logical psychological approach. Okay, his mental models and decision making protocols. Okay, so how do we leverage that psychology and content? We got three steps. First of all, your points of leverage, cognitive by Biases from Charlie Munger and then that combined with our break and rebuild framework is all we use and it's all you need to use to understand content creation once and for all okay so first of all your unique points of leverage in order for step two and step three to make sense we have to have this step covered okay and this is the first thing that we do for our clients okay we take the market backward approach okay we look at the foundation of our clients what's happening behind the iceberg okay so behind the acquisition and the results you are currently getting and what needs to happen in order for you to scale and why is this important in content? Because in order for the content to appeal in the right way, it has to be different from everyone else. Okay, and that comes down to your foundation being different. So your approach, your results, and your mechanism, and also your way of saying certain stuff. Okay, because obviously in content, you're going to be saying stuff. So in order for it to appeal to more people and catch more attention, you have to say stuff differently to everyone else. Okay, this may sound complicated, but you can easily do this with one tracker sheet, with one big research. And what you want to do is you want to put it back on paper. Okay, so you want to do a big research of what your competitors are doing okay so look at your competitors and look at these three stuff what they are saying what they are offering and their own approach okay the reason we want to look at what they are saying what they are offering and their approach because you want to position yourself unique to everybody else like i said we're taking the iceberg backward approach okay we're actually influencing the events okay and this is also important because it's what you're going to be saying in your content especially if you're a coach if you're an agency if you're selling a service you're going to have competition and our key here is to position yourself unique to everyone else okay if you want to learn more on how we do this go to this video after this one and skim to five minutes i talk about the icebergs themselves and i also give you a different framework that you can use okay so that's for the points of leverage you need to have your own approach your own wording and appeal in content contrast to everyone else okay the second thing is psychology so we can use all of that to leverage back into the content okay so if you look at charlie munger's cognitive biases he has all those 25 you can take this cheat sheet for yourself we just need to leverage a few of them okay the ones that make the most sense for us for content creation okay so we got eight cognitive biases from charlie munger that we leverage okay first we got the reciprocation bias and this is when you give value someone is obligated to give value back so what we have to do to affect it, give value. The second thing is social influence bias. People will listen to you if you actually have influence and proof. And what do we have to do? Show proof, okay? And in order for hit the authority bias, you have to give value and show proof. 80% of the marketing that you run and the results you're gonna get are gonna be followed based off of the social proof that you have. Okay, and then we got the liking, loving tendency when people like you. And then we got the affinity bias when people relate to you, okay? And we can hit both of them by sharing personal stories, okay? That's another key action that we can take. Okay, and then we got the confirmation bias so when you talk about stuff that people already know, okay, that they're already in their belief shit system, and in order for us to actually hit the confirmation bias, we have to first do the belief shitting strategy. I'll get into that in a second. And second of all, we have to share your personal beliefs, okay? And the last one, the most important one, is to simulate the neocortex. And this is done by using different words to everyone else and being completely different, being new. Like I said, with the points of leverage, we wanna have your own messaging and position yourself opposite to the competitors. To sum up, we wanna give value in stories, assets, content, long form. We wanna show proof in stories, content everywhere where you can. We gotta share personal stories, mostly in reels. I'm gonna go into in a second why. Okay, then we got to hit their beliefs, okay? To actually influence their way of thinking and get them indoctrinate in your mechanism and we do this by using the belief shifting strategy and sharing your personal beliefs and then we top it off with saying everything completely different to everyone else okay and this affects in the lollapusa effect so basically the lollapusa effect works when you hit all of these at once with your content if all of these hit in at once okay what ends up happening is people will want to give back to you because you hit the reciprocation bias people are going to trust you because you already have proof people are going to like love you they're going to relate to you they're going to want to listen to you because you hit the confirmation bias and then and you stimulate the neocortex which gets them hooked into your content even more and all of this combined together gives an explosion effect the lola puzza effect well where all of this works like on steroids and that's what we try for with our content and that's how we create and structure our content so if you understand this you can literally take those beliefs implement in your content 
content, okay, write them down on a piece of paper somewhere and make sure to hit them. I'm gonna explain in a second how you can use this and look at the brain, so stay tuned. But the last thing that we need, okay, and this is especially for the confirmation bias, is the break and rebuild method. So how do we actually structure all of these cognitive biases in your content? Okay, so if you look at the confirmation bias, we got the belief shifting strategy and we're sharing your personal beliefs, okay? As you can see in our break and rebuild method, we first have to identify, okay, the problem, acknowledge them which hits the confirmation bias okay because you're acknowledging a belief that they already have in their system so they're more likely to listen you to you okay they're more willingly to listen to you okay and then we break that belief okay and then we rebuild that with your belief your way of thinking your approach your wording okay your unique approach to everything and this will hit the authority reciprocity bias and then we back it up with social proof to actually hit the social influence bias and actually indoctrinate your leads okay and this will result with their beliefs aligned with yours and this will again result with them being pre-sold on sales calls, which is what we want to actually make our lives easier. Okay, so that was the third step. First, we got to have your unique approach, look at the psychology, okay, so the kind of devices, and I'm gonna break and rebuild, okay? And here's the real sauce, okay? Here's how to structure everything, okay? So if you haven't seen the cheat sheet already, you can take this cheat sheet of the 25 cognitive biases from Charlie Munger, okay? I just mentioned the most important ones, but you can take a screenshot and use also these, okay? So the actions that you can take is find out your own unique approach, okay? So look at your points of leverage, choose the biases that you wanna use in that specific piece of content, and then you wanna stick it together and shift their beliefs with the belief shifting framework, okay? And here's a bonus, how do we structure that? And we look at the brain itself, okay? Okay, and this is super logical and I wish I knew this earlier. Okay, because if you look at your brain, this may sound complicated, but if you understand this, you won't have a problem with content creation anymore, okay? New information first goes to the reptilian brain, okay? So that's your instinctual or dinosaur brain, okay, right here. Then it goes to the limbic brain, so your emotions, and then it if it hits the limbic brain, it will go to the neocortex, which is the rational, logical way of thinking. Okay, and why am I saying this? Because people, what people do is they want to hit the logic. They do reels about logical stuff, okay? Being super strict about numbers and having the logical approach, where in reality, it won't work because the information first has to go through the emotional brain, okay? Before it hits the neocortex, before it hits the before it hits the logical brain, it first has to go through emotion, okay? And that being said, the quote, people buy on emotions and justify it with logic from Zig Ziglar makes completely sense, okay? Because the emotions are before the logic. So when people buy, they first hit the emotional side and they, they justify their decisions with logic. Okay, this is taken from Zig Ziglar, pretty fire book. I actually have it up here, prepared for this video. Pretty fire book. Okay, and how can we actually leverage this? Okay, so here's my content strategy. We've got shorts, reels, and I use this as top of the funnel. Okay, so if you draw a, a funnel here, you got shorts up here, obviously with ads. What we're wanting is shorts. And then I drive all the shorts to my YouTube. Okay, and why am I driving everything to YouTube? Because if in the shorts, I hit the emotions, then I can go into the logic, into the neocortex in the long form videos. Okay, because if you look at the brain, the emotions are first. So we have to first hit the emotions. That's why I use content top of the funnel. They're not good for giving value and actually hitting the logic but they're good for hitting emotions, okay? So basically that's how I plan to do my content right now and how am I doing it for myself and for my clients. I got the shorts and reels on the top of the funnel, okay, based off emotions, right? What do I mean based off emotions? Uh, by saying based off emotions, I mean that I'm talking about proof, okay, claims, personal stories, and shifting beliefs, okay? We actually want to hit the emotions first, okay? So if you look at the cognitive biases, what we wanna do is we wanna show proof, give value, show personal stories, Okay, keyword, personal stories, uh, belief shifting strategy, and then share your personal beliefs, okay, to build that trust and build up that emotions. Okay, so they understand that you're a human too. And that builds connection, emotions, and actually uh, hits the affinity bias and like loving tendency, which is what we want. Okay, and then what I do is I drive the shorts to my YouTube, where on YouTube, like in this video, uh, it's more rational, logic, neocortex, more into the dense stuff, so you actually understand everything what we do and give you value okay and this allows me to actually nurture my leads way easier and that's what we've been doing for our client uh, we're leveraging youtube for most of my clients the minimum is one vsl if you don't want to do a lot of youtube just leverage one vsl that's the bare minimum although we recommend to actually post more youtube videos so we actually have something that we can drive traffic to to actually nurture and convert the people so that people bite in into your personality okay so this is my content strategy and how i structure everything so in the shorts proof claims personal stories and belief shifting okay if you have no ideas on what to create content about both short form and long form uh, i have some solutions for you just so this video isn't brief and actually covers every aspect of creating content this is like the first actionable step for you create a sheet Okay, a piece of paper, you can do it on paper, you can do it on Notion, whatever you like. 
and write out all your competitors, do a market research, see what they are doing, what they are saying and what they are offering, okay? What they are doing for their own selves, what they are saying in the content, their keywords, the stuff that they repeat over and over again, and what do they offer themselves. Put that down on paper, whether it's on a computer or a piece of paper, and actually position yourself completely different to everybody else. Keyword here is the way of saying. If you say stuff differently to everybody else, have your own wording, have your own saying, so you're not actually a copy and paste offer of someone else. Again, I went in depth on this on a different video of mine. And you can create content based off of that sheet, okay? If you position yourself unique to everyone else, you actually have a piece of asset, an asset that you can use to create content. Another thing, record a VSL. So basically going over what you do and what you offer. Also got a video on how to create a VSL on my YouTube. And why should you create a VSL? Not only will it help you, but you can take parts of that VSL, each pillar or each step of your program and create a 10 minute video out of that step, okay? Out of each one minute of your VSL, you can make a 10 minute video easily okay and that will give you something that you can post on youtube and give people to watch okay proof you can create uh, content around your results that's what we've been doing for antonio lately putting a lot of social proof out there and it's also another thing that is actually helping us book a lot of calls because it's literally taken yesterday okay a bunch of calls booked okay that's how powerful everything on youtube is okay and the last thing here look at dms Another thing is, uh, if you have your DMs, if you have leads coming into your DMs, you can ask them what piece of content would you like to see on YouTube, or you can see what problems they have and create content based of that. Okay, pretty simple. So that's how you find ideas. The action steps would be uh, to figure out your approach, choose the biases and stick it together, okay? Using a belief shifting framework. So you can copy all of this. I went over everything in this video. Okay, but in order for you to squeeze the most juice out of this and in order for all of this to work, you have to drive the content and your strategy to an offer that actually makes sense in the market and is in a blue ocean, not a red ocean. Okay, so if you wanna learn how I connect this with everything I do and how I position my clients in a blue ocean to make the content 10 times better essentially, okay, because you're appealing to the people who haven't seen this solution ever again, then I recommend watching uh, this video. I went over what we do and how we structure it so you can take the principles and structure them for yourself to actually get results today. Okay, that's what that was it for the video. I hope you found value. Again, like I said, I could put this in a course, in a module, in my program, but I'm giving away for free. So yeah, check out this video if you want and see you in the next one.